Hey everyone, it's Desi Chang, and the guys from Air have sent me their brand new backpack, and I'm really, really excited to talk to you about this one uh, because I'm loving it so far. Uh, but yeah, this is their tech pack. So let's take a closer look. All right, so first off, let's talk about how good looking this bag is. Um, it's it's one color, it's black, it's sleek, um, it's, it's got a beautiful design, it has this uh, weatherproof coating on it, um, and it has a YKK AquaGuard zippers throughout, uh, so you don't have to worry about water seeping in. Um, and yeah, so let's go through some of the features of this bag. So let's start off with the back, actually let's start off with the top first. It's got a nice top handle, so easy to carry. The straps are nice, wide and thick, it has a sternum strap, which is nice. It doesn't have a belt strap, but that's fine because it's not meant to, you're not meant to go hiking in this, so it's kind of unnecessary. Um, at the back, nicely padded, um, got a central ventilation um, system here. And then, moving on to the side, there is a side carry handle. So you can carry your bag on its side like that. Oh, I also forgot. There is also a luggage pass-through right at the bottom here. It's just a small, simple strap, um, so you can, um, you know, put it, put it through the luggage handles and then stand it up right. Um, another great thing, feature about this bag is that it stands up by itself. Some backpacks, um, you know, when you put it down, it doesn't stand up, but this one has a nice flat base, um, so you can just sit on the ground and it'll stand up. So, going around uh, from this side. On, on this one side here, there is a small zipper. Um, it's not huge, but you know, this is a large enough to put like, you know, a Swiss Army knife. I have a Leatherman here, um, same thing. You can kind of shove something small, your, your phone or something like that in there. Um, and then on the opposite side, uh, there is water bottle uh, pocket. This is great because it's uh, stretchy so that, uh, you know, if you have a bigger water bottle or a small, smaller water bottle, um, that is not a problem. Let's move on to the front compartment. So this front compartment, uh, it goes from top all the way down to the bottom, has dual zippers, so you can got open it on either side. Um, and so this is where you would put your tech accessories. Um, at the very top, there is a zipper here, um, so you can put, you know, money or uh, the things that you want to secure. It also has a uh, latch thing if you want to put on your keys or anything like that. Um, got some pens, a couple holders for your cords or your power adapter for your laptop or you can put your sunglasses. It's got um, a couple other uh, pouches down here at the bottom uh, for you to put hard drives. Um, and there's also additional space. So if you did have like a thin, thin jacket um, or a t-shirt or something like that, it, you do still have some space in the front. Um, beware, it is not padded right here, so uh, I wouldn't put anything um, delicate that could you know, get hit or anything like that. Okay, at the very, very top, there is a small little pouch. So this, you can put sunglasses in here. I have a little small, tiny little accessory pouch, which I have my, like my headphones, my uh, phone charger, uh, things like that. Or you can put sunglasses in here. That's nice and handy. Um, onto the main compartment. Again, it opens from either side. There's dual zippers. Um, so right now, I have I have it. Uh, I wouldn't say crammed, but I have it filled. Approximately about eighty percent. I could probably fill in a few more things in here, but I'm going to pull out some of the things that I have already in here. So I got a sweater or hoodie um, in here. I also have a fifteen-inch laptop. Also, there is a spot for you to put an iPad. And um, there is, so I'm a photographer, so I like to have cameras in here. So I actually put a small little camera insert. This one is by Tenba. And um, you know, you can put it, it fits right into the very bottom. So, you know, um, I wouldn't say it's, it's too tight if you had like a full frame DSLR, like a Canon 5D or Nikon. Uh, D750, D810, things like that. Uh, it's a bit too tight for that. But if you had a mirrorless camera, such as like a Sony A7 um, or like a Fuji, 
uh, or Olympus or even one of the Panasonic cameras, uh, they can fit in here and, and end in here, no problem with the laptop and also with the iPad. So um, nothing more than a mirrorless, I would say, you can fit in there and there's also room for additional lenses. And then once you kind of close it, you can stack things on top of it. Um, also inside here, it's a kind of tough to show, but there are two small little stash pockets uh, for you to put things like maybe a hard drive uh, or things like that. Also on the inside, there is kind of, there's a hidden zipper in there. So if you had something that you really, really needed to secure, um, you have space for that in there. Um, and then at the back zipper here, um, you know, I put my documents in here. Uh, you can put your laptop in, in this back sleeve as well, but do beware that um, at the very bottom of it, it's not 100% fully padded. So if you uh, drop your laptop in, or if you set your um, bag on the ground hard, um, you know, it may, it may you know, hit the laptop at the bottom right here. My suggestion is if you put your laptop into this main compartment um, because it is suspended, so that if you do drop your laptop in there, it's just gonna hang there and it's not gonna hit, you know, uh, the bottom of the ground or anything like that. Um, but yeah, uh, that's essentially it about this bag. Um, I love it as an everyday bag, um, love carrying it around. It's, it's simple, it's sleek, it has, uh, you know, it's very, very quick for me to access my documents, my hard drive, my charger, um, my uh, laptop, uh, things like that. Anyways, that's essentially it for all of the features. Um, I'm loving this bag right now. I'm using it pretty much every day unless I have like a photo shoot or something like that. Um, but it's great. It's built really, really well. You can tell every single component of it is not made cheaply. Um, and uh, yeah, I highly suggest that you buy it. Um, if you are looking for, you know, a tech pack that's, you know, that you're gonna use day to day. Uh, it's about $200 US. So yeah, if you like this bag review and you wanna see me do more, please like and subscribe and definitely don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Desi31. Thanks for watching.